Yo, look at this little thing. How cool is this? It's a Raspberry Pi, but it's converted into being a super small, efficient cryptocurrency miner. I'm not the one who did it though. I mine blocks is. If you're a nerd like me, you're gonna love this because honestly, this stuff is super cool and it really just kind of like embodies and celebrates the beginning of cryptocurrency and crypto mining. Because don't forget the age old one CPU, one vote or the original paper, white paper published by Satoshi Nakamoto, which people to believe to be a, the original group creators of Bitcoin, they put in there the one CPU, one vote, and not the one IP address, one vote, because it was easier to fake one IP address and you can't really fake one CPU. And this does beg the question of them not really being able to foresee GPU, FPGA, and ASIC mining or hashing on that Bitcoin mining algorithm. But that's a whole different aside. Today we're going to focus on CPU mining and this little device that is just really freaking cool. If you're looking for a device that is super efficient, super fun, super interesting, and just like an excellent learning tool, if you're looking for a device that you can put, say, in your classroom and show students, you know, this is what crypto mining is, and look at this cool little device that I'm doing it with, you know, this is going to be right up your alley. If you think that this little device is going to be incredibly profitable and make you a Bitcoin billionaire next week, uh, this isn't it. And I hope that you guys can see just how valuable stuff like this is and really why we should explore developing more mining algorithms to be built around hardware like this hardware that's accessible easy to use multi-purpose customizable and just really strive to get back to the roots of cryptocurrency and bitcoin's beginning and just that true decentralization. I love this stuff, so I could keep going on and on, but I'm gonna go ahead and roll the 10 seconds of Tails, our Shiba Inu Doge, and the Voscoin intro, and then jump into the micro mining review and really a brief update on CPU mining here. Again, guys, the Micro Miner is a basically customized version of the Raspberry Pi. There's numerous Raspberry Pi models out there. We can see them just on this list alone, dating back to 2012. And, you know, there's a new model that's coming out actually just in a couple of days here in 2020. The model that this is all based around is the Raspberry Pi Zero W. This is basically a very energy efficient, affordable Raspberry Pi. Well, they're all really affordable in my opinion, but it's an affordable model that also has built-in Wi-Fi, which is one of the cool features of this. So what my mind blocks did, Lee, he basically took the Raspberry Pi, created a custom uh, ISO or like basically Linux build for it where he has the miners loaded on there and easier to use and access and much more beginner friendly and kind of bundled it into a package here with this just nice little basic uh, case that kind of surrounds the Raspberry Pi and protects the PCB, which is that board, uh, really just from any kind of damage, intrusion, uh, electroshocks, and uh, so forth. If you're not familiar with Lead I Mind Blocks, he, had his, he has his own YouTube channel. That's the basis of I Mind Blocks. He's a longtime creator of really mainly actually crypto mining content. And uh, if you've never seen his stuff before, it's definitely worth checking out. Thanks to today's video sponsor, BitAmp.com. They have an open source, client side free Bitcoin wallet, which allows you to send and receive Bitcoin. BitAmp is available in multiple languages, as shown here. And to go ahead and get set up, just like that, you are logged into your wallet. As a full disclaimer, we have never used their wallet before, so please be safe and test it with smaller amounts. If you wanna check out their wallet or their GitHub, they're both linked out in the video description below. Here's what's really cool about this little miner, is you can basically mine any cryptocurrency. However, if that cryptocurrency is ASIC mined especially, application specific integrated circuit miners, these big, power hungry, loud, hot, you know, purpose built devices that say literally only mine one Bitcoin mining or a one mining algorithm, like Bitcoin's mining algorithm, for example, SHA 256. That, that algorithm is only mined by ASICs anymore because basically, if ASIC miners show up, they are the most efficient miner by very far. The, some of these mining algorithms are also, uh, say, GPU or FPGA dominated, and your little tiny CPU here is not going to be able to compete with those devices that are 
more powerful versions, more power hungry, and that kind of stuff. So the point though is that you can mine these just as an experiment or if you're curious or whatever, here's a long list of some of the options and there's actually gonna be even more coins and algorithms available likely uh, than from this list just as over time more and more coins and projects pop up with a tweak here and a tweak hit there and now well we've got another proof of work aka mineable cryptocurrency right now you can see that i'm doing about 23 hash i think a minute which is a, kind of a weird way to lay this out in this little cpu miner but hey it works there's numerous miners that you can load into this so we're just using the varium miner it's a cpu miner and to be clear i'm not endorsing varium or varium reserve or saying you should go out there and check it out or recommend it or anything like that i actually think you should probably stay away from it i glanced at it real quick and it looks uh it's the last thing i'd be putting my money or resources in however this is what was set up in the original guide so i wanted to test it out and uh, it's definitely something that's pretty easy to get up to speed mining with and from there you can start to tinker around and really point this towards a project that may be more interesting to you i also have been uh i've been pretty disappointed with their one mining pool distribution the behavior is just weird so this pool goes up i mean it's like 20 kilohash a second on a network right that right now is 50 kilohash a second basically this thing goes from six seven kilohash a second up to 27 kilohash a second and you know it's uh basically every day like clockwork and then it goes off and it just kind of wreaks havoc here on this network and they're probably gaming it to some degree what's even more weird is when you want to go and sign up and join this mining pool sorry dude uh, we're not accepting new uh, registrations loser you the new guy here you can't uh, mine with us i'm like cool sick like okay great so what did i do i went over here to block bucket which had a u.s stratum and i was like okay cool stick my miner up there but my miner's not showing up on the dashboard but i'm sure that the miner is mining we wouldn't be getting a we wouldn't be getting these kind of readouts like you just you wouldn't get this unless we we're getting totally scammed but connecting to some other pools and it not working is a pretty clear indicator that it is working here but it's not showing up on their dashboard unfortunately one of the main reasons i think this little device is so interesting is let's say you want to get a mining rig to try it out right well maybe you want to get the last generation bitcoin miner because they're pretty cheap now ant miner s9 used to sell for thousands of dollars now <laughs> for the whole price of twenty dollars and fifty bucks to ship it 39 people have apparently bought these you know we've got those right but this thing consumes over a thousand watts depending how you have it set up it's loud it's power hungry it's ugly it makes a lot of heat this i, I wouldn't want this thing really in my house generally speaking and, and i do this kind of stuff all the time so you're like well maybe i'll mine with some gpus okay like that's possible come down the list we see like say like the rx 470 a card that came out in 2016 16 and really revolutionized the way uh, many many mining farms are built like all right i'm gonna go grab again last gen uh mining gpu here um, i'll go over here i'll browse around ebay some of the top results pretty quickly you'll start seeing these cards for around 50 dollars okay all right well here's the kicker though 50 dollars and you still need a supporting pc to be able to run that and do not take this the wrong way guys i am not trying to show this miner to be clear lee sent me this to review but i reached out to him and asked if i could review it because i just think it's cool so his pricing here shipped anywhere in the world for this device is like 50 bucks and you're like well that's the same price as the gpu i'd rather just get that than get that okay but if you want to try something completely standalone that literally just needs a tiny bit of power via, via a usb which like you could use your phone charger to power this thing okay like that's cool anyway my point is simply this this really is an excellent starter mining rig and this is along the lines of something like we've always wanted to create but just haven't and it's really cool to see someone who made basically like something like this and it's pretty freaking cool we you know released our tri miner design a couple years ago and i still use my tri miner all the time the whole point of the tri miner was it's tri mining you could have the capability to be cpu mining to be gpu mining and also hdd hard drive mining 
and kind of like an open air, easily accessible rig that you kind of add expansion ports to and customize it and go from there. And you know, you could take this design and do with it whatever you want to do. But you know, that's a rig that's gonna, you're gonna be like a thousand dollars into something like that. And, I, and you know, you can achieve pretty good profit, mining profitability with something like that. But maybe you just want to get into it for the basic demo project. Again, you know, maybe you're some kind of teacher or professor and you want to bring this to your class or like you want to bring this over to a relative's house to show them or your buddy's house or whatever and show them real quick that some of the basics of mining. Like to have something that literally fits in your pocket that you can mine crypto with, like that's super freaking awesome. When it comes to CPU mining, it really all revolves around Monero who is in a large scale truly keeping CPU mining alive with their newer random X mining algorithm. This is something where like my Ryzen CPU makes like, you know, say 50 cents or roughly a day before I pay my electric bill with it. It's probably more like 30 cents. Again, nothing to write home about, but that's also a CPU from a couple years ago still mining profitably. I have not tested this little guy mining random X and I didn't see the benchmark because this uh, miner came out before random X was released. And again, you know, it's not like you're going to put this on random X and it's going to be a super profitable little device, but you know, it may be interesting to you if you're a fan of Monero and you want to support it in that manner or, you know, whatever you want to do as far as like setting this thing up, you know, I'm not going to make this a tutorial style video, but basically you plug it into some power, you plug in a USB keyboard, and then you also plug in an HDMI uh, display. The cool thing about this little kit is it comes with the adapters needed for all of this. So you're not gonna get this and realize you need some kind of adapter and get a massive buzz kill, and then you gotta wait a couple days to get something off of like Amazon or try to go to Best Buy and hunt something down. You know, it's, it's all included, which is a very nice from just kind of the user experience point of view. Once you do that, you just, you know, there's a very basic little guide you follow. You basically just log into, into the device, you enable SSH, and then uh, you also connect it to Wi-Fi by entering your uh, Wi-Fi credentials into there. After that, you literally just type like SSH pi at the IP address, and then you put in the uh, password, which is, uh, Raspi Zero, and now you're in the device from anywhere, or any other PC or your laptop here on the beach, <laughs> whatever you're doing, if you are there living lavishly. And from there, you just, you know, follow a couple commands and you initiate the miner and there's that. You can set it up to, you know, say automatically mine on reboots and mine in a window and you know, the screen command and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but the point is, you know, this is just Linux and really you can do with it anything you want within the capabilities of this little piece of hardware. And ultimately guys, again, like this thing is just fantastic. I have nothing but good things to say about it. You know, it's not made by some big company trying to make a killing or take advantage of people. It's not sold like it's some super, you know, quick ROI device or anything like that. It's literally kind of framed as like a learning tool, a teaching tool. And that's what it is. So if you want something fun to mess around with and also support someone who's, you know, contributed to the crypto mining space over the years, I'd say give it a shot. Another cool thing he offers is just buying the micro miner OS image. That would be an interesting way that you could support them, get an instant digital download and order one of these off Amazon, potentially reducing your cost and having a little bit more fun tinkering around with it or trying to make a case or again, whatever you guys want to do. And that really wraps up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this along this style and this kind of hardware. You know, should we explore Raspberry Pi mining more? Is that something you guys want to see or you're like, yo, this is cool, but that's enough or I was bored five minutes and you know five seconds into this or whatever. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. We just hit 110k, which is crazy. And uh, yeah, see you on the next one.